Last month, the CBS 11 I team first broke the story of one of the largest cases of alleged fraud by a Texas real estate agent the state has ever investigated. Well, tonight, there is an update to that case to share with you. Ashley Williams, who is accused of taking nearly half a million dollars from her clients and business partners, has now filed for bankruptcy. Investigative reporter Brian New joining us live from Dallas. So what does that mean? Doug, the significance of this is really twofold. One, by filing for bankruptcy, this prevents those property owners who say that Ashley Williams owes them money from taking any action to collect it. They are now going to have to wait to see how this bankruptcy case plays out. Two, it also gives us some insight of who Ashley Williams owes money to. In her filing, she lists 35 creditors, totaling up to a half million dollars. That amount in that list will likely grow as additional property owners file a proof of claim. According to her filing, Williams also has credit card debt and owes money to the IRS, as well as the Texas Real Estate Commission. In May, the state revoked Williams' real estate license, citing her with 68 violations and issuing a fine of $122,000, the largest fine the commission has handed out in years. Property owners told the I-team they hired Williams to manage their rentals, but say she failed to give them the rent money that she was collecting. We tried to talk to Williams back in July, but she would only say no when we asked her about owing her former clients money. We again reached out today to her attorney and have yet to hear back. Now, it's important to note that Williams filed for Chapter 13 and not Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And the big distinction on this is under Chapter 13, she is not obligated to sell off all of her possessions. Instead, typically what happens in these cases is a person is required to pay back a portion of their debt in a three to five year time period. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.